Linux on Apple Silicon. Asai Linux aims to bring a polished Linux experience on Apple Silicon Macs. Let's try it out. Device support. We're doing this on an M1 MacBook Air, so everything is fine except for USB-C display, Thunderbolt and Touch ID. Oh. So how the hell can we install Asahi? Install for macOS. We need to enter the terminal. Okay, so I'm pasting the command in now. Oh, that's scary. Password? Incorrect. Welcome to the Asahi Linux installer. This installer will guide you through the process of setting up Asahi Linux on your Mac. Please make sure you are familiar with our documentation at alx.sh w. I don't care. Collecting system information. Choose what to do. R. Resize an existing partition to make space for the new OS. Q. Good without doing anything. R. Enter the new size of your existing partition. You can enter a size such as 1 GB, a fraction such as 50 GB, or the word min for the smallest available size. Let's do 50%. Note your system may appear to freeze during the resize. This is normal. Just wait until the process completes. Okay. Okay. Resize complete. Please enter to continue. Let's install Asahi Linux on free space on my SSD. Oh, that's interesting. I can choose what version of Asahi Linux I exactly want. So I can do it with KDE Plasma, GNOME, Server, whatever this is, and Minimal without a desktop environment. I just go for KDE Plasma because it's like Windows. How much space should be allocated to the new OS? Max. OS name. The nicest OS ever. Five minutes later. Password for BetterNet. God, even Linux wants to have our data now. I need to follow these steps to install install Asahi. Okay, now that I stop the screen recording, you have to sit through this bad video quality. I'm sorry. Press enter to shut on the system. Okay, and what the hell am I supposed to do now? According to the instructions, I have to wait 25 seconds before I continue. And now I need to press and hold the power button of the Mac. Continue holding for startup options. Oh, here it is. This is the nicest OS ever. Let's go. Okay, now we are in the scary part because we are in macOS recovery with no wallpaper and just a terminal. Press enter to continue. Please enter the password for BetterNet. Local policy update is in progress. What the hell? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, whatever. Username. Let's do BetterNet. Password. Installation complete. Press enter to reboot. Installing Linux on a Mac can't be that easy, but it is. This looks scary. Oh my god, what the hell. We are actually in Fedora Linux now. Let's set it up. That's it, we're in Linux. Skip the welcome center. And the first thing I'm gonna do now is install OBS so you can see my screen properly. Okay, now it's working. And what I want to do now is, you know, customize Linux a bit. First, let's turn dark mode on. Okay, you always have to click apply, which is weird, but okay. Animation speed, slow, apply. Okay, that's really slow. Let's try instant. Yo. That's fast. Mouse and touchpad. Let's make my pointer faster and turn on tab to click. Keyboard. Okay, no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Touch screen. Is that maybe a leak to a touch screen MacBook? Appearance and style. Let's first mess around with the wallpaper. Not the most beautiful wallpaper, but I like this one. And apply. Yeah, looks fine. Colors and theme. Colors. I think Breeze Dark is the best. Application style. That's so cool. That really looks like Windows XP. But Windows XP doesn't look very good, so I just use Breeze, which I can also customize. Not interesting. Window decorations. Again, Windows XP or modern. Icons. That's actually so cool that I can change everything. Get now. I can even download third party icons. This macOS wants to look good. The icons actually changed. Here's the app logo, settings, app store, finder, Firefox. That's so cool. Splash screen. I can even change the boot screen. Arch Linux just for the flex. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I need that one. Imagine this happens when you boot your computer. Lock screen. Of course, I can have a MacOS lock screen. This one looks pretty good. Let's install it. But which one? Okay, you know what? I'm scared. And I just realized I can also install custom window decorations, overall styles, and custom colors. Let's install custom window decorations. That's so cool. I really like Linux. MacOS. I think this one looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I think I keep that. Okay, let's install another style. MacOS theme. Once again, I like the theme from Leon. I really don't know how to say this. Lion. Doesn't look too different. And of course I can install custom colors. Nah, no. Restart is better. Text and fonts. I can change the font family of the entire operating system. That's so cool. But I think I'll leave it as it is. Animations. Window minimize. Magic lamp. Whatever this is, let's watch it as slow as possible. Oh, that's so satisfying. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. 
I freaking love that. I'm back on macOS and I gotta say Linux is a great OS. Of course it has its quirks for example that I wasn't able to get OBS to work and I needed to use some weird integrated tool. But apart from that my Linux experience so far has been really smooth. Let me know if you want a part 2 where I for example customize the desktop or something. And speaking of desktops right now you can set me your computer's desktop and when I reach 1000 subscribers I make a video where I rank all of them. So click the first link in the description, send me your desktop and make sure to subscribe. By the way here's a random video where YouTube thinks you're interested. Sit